Hi, I'm Dr. Iyom Iruka, and I'm ecstatic to be chatting with you all about how you can get involved in the National Agenda for Black Children. And I'm joined by my friend, a co-conspirator, Madam President Samaray James. Um, so Samaray, tell us about yourself and what you are doing over there with the National Black Child Development Institute. Thank you so much. And it's wonderful, again, my friend and colleague, um, Ioma, to be uh, sharing this agenda for Black children with you. So again, I am from the National Black Child Development Institute. I'm the interim president and CEO. I'm honored to serve in that leadership role. Um, as, a, as a quick way to encapsulate and summarize um, the National Black Child Development Institute, we are committed to the message and the progress on the idea that being Black is not a risk factor. And we promote this message to individuals, to Black communities, to Black children, um, because we need folks to know that the, the, the data and the outcomes that you hear about Black children is not indicative of their identities, is not indicative of our culture. Um, that, that, that that data is driven by societal issues that we have to address. And so in addition to programs designed to support Black children on the individual level, we also have our policy initiatives that are about changing systems and addressing racism and systems so that we don't continue to identify policy solutions that are designed to fix Black families without fixing historical oppression and without addressing institutional racism. Ioma, our work really aligns, though, and, and complements each other. Please tell us more about the Equity Research Action Coalition. Of course, I'll give you a little snippet. Um, so the Equity Research Action Coalition is one that I just started at UNC Chapel Hill um, in October of 2020. It is a university-based collaborative that works at the intersection of research program and policy. And we really work and walk in collaboration with MBCDI and other practice and policy organizations that are again focusing on eradicating racism and other oppressive systems and ensuring that our cultural wealth is centered in all matters of research and data-driven policy. And you and I just a few months ago had a conversation that, that has led to this moment talking about the, the agenda for Black children. And we had three Ps. What are the three Ps? So yes, I know my three Ps. They're not the Ps like the, in the, the green can stuff. But really, it's about this whole idea of the national agenda for Black children that we, meaning me, you know, with the Equity Research Action Coalition and the National Black Child Development Institute, Samira and her team, and another colleague from Points of Access, will be releasing it sometime this fall. And the whole idea is to really set the priorities that everyone should shout when talking and thinking about Black Lives Matter. We want people to be able to call for specific policies that really matter for Black children and families in our communities. We don't just want performance. We want things to be institutionalized, embedded in the policies. And so this agenda will provide a Black print for every community in the country, from Los Angeles, California, to Atlanta, Georgia, to Newark, New Jersey. And the whole idea of the three pieces about how do we protect our children and families from racism and discrimination, how do we promote our economic security, health, and access to education? And how do we preserve our cultural identity, our language, and positive racial identity? And our NBCDI's role in, in partnering around this agenda will be multifaceted, right? We develop programs. We're expanding those programs that are about that positive racial identity. We have policy initiatives that are designed to change systems and protect Black children from um, discriminative practices like suspensions and expulsions that impact our children at higher rates starting at two and three years old. Um, and so NBCDI will be right there. Under a part of our national agenda, one of the three Ps is called preservation or preserving young children's cultural heritage and identity. And part of that we wanna kind of focus on with the policies is to make sure that the policies ensure pay parity. We know that a lot of our educators are actually paid less. Our black educators are paid less than their white counterparts, 78 cents to the dollar. So we want to make sure that we have policies that ensure pay parity. The second thing is we want to make sure that our black children are exposed to black teachers. They're also exposed to sort of African-centered culture responsive practices that lean on our history, that lean on, on our language, the way that we move, the way that we think, right? And also 
one of the policies also make sure that that the children are accessing anti-racist teaching practices that don't get them kicked out of the classroom from suspension expulsion issues, right? That make sure the images of their best selves in the classroom, that they're represented in the books, in the curricula, in every part of their day, that they are reminded how brilliant and how gifted they are. So we're hoping that our agenda with the research and all the work that NBCI does in terms of programming and policy will push the agenda forward. And for those who really care about Black children and families and educators, we'll make sure that they understand the policies they were pushing for under those three Ps. So now it's my turn to ask you a little bit of questions, Emma Ray. So, you know, why is it important that everyone gets involved with the National Agenda for Black Children? And how can people stay connected with what you all are doing also at NBCI Beyond the National Agenda? Well, we actually can't do this alone. This is um, the, the, the work of really changing the narrative about Black children, but also changing the reality for Black children and families is work that is, that is at the national level, and it takes everyone in our communities. And so we want anyone watching this, you have a role. We want to ensure that you learn. And, and in the few minutes that we've been with you, um, there's so much more that we want to give you. It's NBCDI's 50th anniversary, and we want you to join us for our 50th anniversary conference. Um, please visit our conference website where you actually will have a discounted registration um, if you put in the code PARTNER. So again, we want to build a relationship with you. We want you to stay in touch with us and continue this work alongside us. So just like me and Ioma are partners, become a partner, um, attend our conference, code PARTNER with a capital A, all lowercase, capital A. And we look forward to seeing you there. Yes, and as somebody who actually has attended the annual conference in person, usually, which I, I can't wait to is in person again, it is a must go to a conference, not just because, of course, you talk about Black children, families, educators, and leaders, but because it just gives you this sense of community, this sense of peace and, and spirituality that you often don't get in a conference. So I would say, you know, wherever you can, can however you can engage with NBCDI, but also come to the conference, I would encourage you to bring not just, you know, your friends, but bring your colleagues colleagues, both Black, white, Latino, Asian, all the above, because in the end of it, it's not about for those who sort of tweeted or put out a statement about Black Lives Matter. This is one way you can really make sure that Black lives do matter by engaging in not just the words, but also in the work. And the conference is a great way to really engage in the work and understand how you can contribute to the development of Black children and all those who work on behalf of them. So I hope you stay connected to the conference and obviously also stay connected to the coalition work that we are doing in the fight for justice for our Black community, especially our babies. So I'm so thrilled to be here and thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much to Promise Ventures. Thank you.